What's up, people? Sly Girl here, and welcome back to the what might be the last episode of The Boss. The reason I say that is because in the last episode, we got the third Hydrospersion Key, and I believe there was only three that was needed. So, after talking to Fran in the last episode, let's just nuggets in here. Forgot to listen. Nugget is disconsolate. This consulate that you're be leaving why that's so soon. Oh Nugget, I'm sorry. Nugget will never forget the time we had together, however minuscule. We didn't really have a lot of time together. Nugget has not forget forgotten the time we brought down the apocalypse together. You have you have kept your nugget safe, but I don't have it with me. It's a metaphysical nugget. The nugget in your heart. But please, take this final nugget as a token of Nugget's appreciation. Aw. Now Nugget is a strawberry departure and does not like long goodbyes. Shoot. Yep. Let's talk to these two before talking to you. Don't look in the kitchen. Huh. You've been a lot more subtle than that plea in that plea all the other times we've been here. At this point avoiding the kitchen could save your lives. So it's best to come out and say it. Don't go in the kitchen. We should probably take that advice. I agree with you. Let's go in. Billy, do not make me want to carry you around like a sack of potatoes to save you from whatever undying papyrus literally cooked up. You'd save my life? Uh, yeah, I guess I would. Aw, your story arc is complete. My story arc was about saving Billy's life all this time? I need a more interesting arc. Well, at the very least, they're showing growth. I'm proud of you, Jack. Thanks, Shinny. I'm gonna put your tree to get these warm and fuzzy feelings out of my system. Aw, oh, that's adorable. Please stay away from the kitchen. We've been hearing that a lot lately. It's a good idea to repeat sound life-saving advice every so often. I have a feeling we better listen to them this time. I mean, it's not like we can't get past Toyo anyway. She seems to have our best interests at heart. But what happens if I talk to Toyo again? We go in. Let me guess. Ah, eh, same thing. Oh, I did mean to. Oops, I overpressed. I overpressed it. Let's go. I kind of want to go in there. I want to see what that looks like. Whatever the fuck they did. You're back. How did this one go? It was filled with insanity, insanity and existentialism. I can't read. So good then. It was definitely interesting. I had a good time. We almost died. I know it was awesome. Oh boy, Cliff. See, Papyrus, Cliff's got the right idea. We're outside our game, Undyne. Flaming unicycles are out of the question. <coughs> Excuse me. Spoil sport. A anyway. Did you find the Hydrospersion key? Yeah, we found it. Uh, uh, it wasn't easy. Actually, it was easy. You ready to get it? Not so much. Who knew corporate grudges were so difficult to work around? Huh? Never mind. Here you go, office. This fixes the computer for good, right? Let's see what I can do. It should. We did it! Yes, now we can! Go home. Jack, what's the matter? Oh, I mean, we can go home now, and of course we have to, but I have, no, I have no idea how we got here in the first place. And I'll admit, I'm gonna miss it. You're leaving? Oh, I mean, this isn't our world. I can't really play games unless I'm outside the computer, can I? He's right, Papyrus. We're going to miss you so much. Yeah, you're aw you're awesome for a total dork. I'm gonna miss you. I, I hope it's not out of place for me to say this, but if I didn't have to work on your computer all the time, I... Oh gosh, I'd have liked to spend more time with you, Jack. Oh, you guys. I'm gonna miss you so freaking much. Even if you're not my version of characters, you're the first ones I ever saw. We shall miss you too, Cliff. And you, Jenny. Say, man, you guys really are sweet people. It's sweet to hang out with. Oh, don't forget, double date. Just ask Jack for his IP address. Can't wait to meet your guys. I, I know it was a short time, but I, but apparently that's all it takes. I'll miss you all too. Jack, you have the best friends. And now you guys are going to be friends. Yeah, nothing like a good adventure to bring people together. Speaking of papyrus, you said we're outside our game. Does that mean if we're inside our game, you you consider the unicycles? Well, I suppose so. But that depends on who's writing them. Maybe we can get Sans to do it. Bet him, bet him one gold and he'll do it. His dignity is cheap. <laughs> Dude, the guards pay me well. I can do it for that. I can do that for days. Anyway, not that I don't mind delaying what's coming, but... Uh, y yeah. We should get you guys home. All you need to do is g go through your bedroom door and that should be it. So I have to take you all home. Why the bedroom? The computer was a bit finicky with directions. I got through the firewall, but it won't set up any... 
It won't set up the way home anywhere else. But we can block off. Yeah, little potato man's dubbed himself border guard for be Jack's bedchambers. You could forge documents. Sans is great at forging. And then you're a royal guard. How could you suggest such a thing? There's literally no way to get le legit documents in that game. So if I fire with fire, huh? Sounds good to me. I doubt he's gonna know the difference. He saw all the stuff he gave you, Jack. Obvious forgeries. Yeah. Oh, it's worth a shot. Well, you better get in line soon. Sans doesn't serve cutters. He'll let us to the front so far. He's a assistant. He's been cracking down the rules since this little kid started going through the line putting gum in people's hair. Aw, oh, are we gonna have to really stand in that really long leg? He might not need to, Billy, but Jack certainly will. I'll stand with him, even if I don't need a document. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we gonna need a fold to? Or are we gonna need a fold to? Nah, he says he runs a strict border, but if he sees you're with the Jack, he'll let you by. Oh, better get going. Yeah, you should. But before you do, you should know that once you leave this house, you left flying on it. And as soon as you cross the barrier between the game world and reality, you can't come back. Even if you try to come back, you'd get into this apartment, but we wouldn't be here. No but fiction would be. So only real people through the door? Only real people. No characters. We can't leave with you, Jack. That's okay. I really appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, I'm really glad we met you. You're just as cool as your videos make you look. Thanks, everyone. I guess we got a line to stand in. Let's go, Posse up the guy. That really long line. Oh dear. Excuse <coughs> This line got a hell of a lot longer. Shop, not the shopman toilet. I know that Sans has a sign made. Isn't that nice? Is he just gonna loop around like that, really? Freaking segue, dude. Wait, is that the potato guy? I don't even remember this day. Looked like he was in line too. <laughs> Look at his watch. Late. And he, there goes Billy looking at the goo. Or sitting with the goo and looking at it. And Jenny with the little robot dude. Might as well get to know the characters while standing in that longest line, yeah? <laughs> so little the robot's confused. And Clip is out of chips. And there's a Timmy. Jack has certainly grown a lot of hair and beard. That's a glimpse of the Jack's future. <laughs> Sorry, what did you need? I want to know where he got that. Oh, a tree goes in the window. I never noticed that. Sorry guys, I'm completely sold out. Seriously, we spent like, who even knows how long in this line? What can I say? You're popular. But I got a, but I got a hairbrush you, here you can have. Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair? Well, that's just discrimination. I offer you a particularly good, a perfectly good hairbrush and you criticize my appearance? How hair you? Your insulting comments really cut me deeply. I'm dying inside. Well, at least it adds more color to the conversation. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass the brush. Or I'll pass on the brush. Well, I guess you could also tell Potato Man who you are. He might let you through. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. I guess not a half-baked idea if we butter him up a bit. This one. I like this one. You would fucking like him, Sans. You pun master son of a bitch. Alright, Posse Septic Guy. Or Pus Septic Guy. I think we should take our chances. Thanks, Sans. I think. No, not thank you at all. I told you, I had nothing left. Set my hairbrush if you want it. Can't say I do, no. We'll go over here. Looks like a lot of leftover merchandise here. Hey, I'm making a killing in online sales, but I haven't mailed any of it yet. God damn it, Sans. Aw, I hear everyone. What do you say, Sam? One more time? Yep. One more time. I wish you the best, my child. I am sad to see you go, but it, but it is as it is. It must be. Do visit from time to time, will you? Aw, visits for Ma. Visits for Toru. <laughs> I would love that very much. I want to talk to everyone, but that would just take way too much time. Is that- 
Is that Cry? Hold on a second. Is that... I never actually looked in all of the people here. Is that fucking Cry right there? That looks like a goddamn sup guy. Hold on. Naps to Blue. Move out of the way. I mean, why is he there? Okay, I'm not gonna question it. Just gonna move on. It has been quite the experience meeting you, Jack and Cliff. I don't think I shall ever forget you. Good, because we'll never forget you. Especially Billy here. Uh, what? what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Well, I really am happy to have gotten to know you. Please come back to Wireland sometime if you can. I don't know if it's possible, but if I'm ever around again, I'll be sure to look you up. Oh, I'm Billy. I have something for you. I painted it myself. <laughs> the friend Billy egg. Aww. I, um, I hope you like it. That's adorable. Wow, friend, thank you. It's great. We have two eggs now. The friend Billy egg and the cliff egg. Pretty sure that means there is one for Jack himself and one for Jenny. I, and maybe one for just Billy. I have no idea how to get the other ones, so... Hey, so, Jack, uh, I promise I'll pay every- I'll pay to get everything fixed or replaced. You know what? It's all water, water under the bridge. Funny you should say water! Well, heh, at least the kitchen isn't on fire anymore. Just ignore the rushing sounds. Yes, that is actually Undyne. What is that, actually? It's absolutely full of- SHUT UP, PAPYRUS! Oh, because it sounds like shushing. I get it. You guys are so cute. Don't forget to introduce Alfie's to me and to your Undyne and Papyrus. Can't wait. Best crossover ever. Oh, that's adorable. So from who I could make it more at this. I love that the tree goes in here too. We got a little slime buddy from Slime Ranchers. The obvious people who we already talked to. We got Bendy over there. Of course, we got Frisk and Chara. The other Jacks and the book kid. A lot, a lot of guys. Alright. Papers, please. Uh, will my ID work? I'm Jack. You know, as in septic guy. Why did you. Why you no say so in first place? I just needed to make sure you were you. And now I see you are you. That's all it took this whole time? Hey, yeah, just be glad it worked out this time. Oh, well, I guess this is it. Anyway, uh, away we go. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for all the memories. Seriously, it's been amazing to meet you. Hey, if Jenny and Cliff are connected through the internet, we can all hang out with their alternatives. Yeah, it's totally not goodbye. Yeah, dude, and you humans can always give our games a play and biz if you ever start or mess with us. Or even if you don't. Seriously, though, this has been an amazing experience. I guess I'll see you all in my spare time. I have got some games to revisit. Aww. Come on, Billy. You've got subscribers to save. I can't, Jack. Didn't you hear what Elfie said? Real people only. You know, it's kind of flattering that you forgot I was just a character. Yeah, I, I actually wish you could come. I wish you could too, but, you know, I'm just a couple of sprites and lines of code. That's all I've ever been. Nah, Billy. You know you've been more than that. You've always been more than that. I know, actually. It feels weird to say this, especially to you. Why well, are the best thing that's ever happened to me, Jack? Come on, that's not true. All I do is rage at you. I know, and because of that... You met, or because you singled me out, look around. There's so many versions of me everywhere. Everyone knows who I am. And your subscribers, they really love me. Yeah, they love to hate me. But I'm, but I'm not a major character. I don't even have my own name. All I am is a kid on the back of a bike. You made me so much more than that, Jack. You made me someone special. That's all any character can ask for. I may not have an official name, but I'm proud to be Billy. Oh, I'm glad, Billy. So adorable. So, I guess this really is goodbye then. I guess it is. Unless you play Happy Wheels every now, now again. Just promise you won't forget me. I promise. And Billy, thank you. Thank you for it. Look, Jack, I don't want to do this long, drawn out goodbye. All I want to hear you say is what you always say to me. Screw you, Billy. <laughs> Screw you too, Jack. That's so adorable. Come on, everyone. Let's go home. My ability. Man. I'm gonna miss my sassy boy. I love Billy. And again, we always have glitch in the system. And it's getting darker. I can't run either, so this is just a long hallway, I guess. Yeah. 
Hello there. I knew you'd come. What? Who are you? You seriously didn't miss me? I'm disappointed in you. I have thought it would have been obvious. After all this running around and trying to undo my work. You mean, I'm the boss. What? But I... I don't understand. Why'd you try to stop us from leaving? Who are you? Wow. I guess it's true that no one really cares about me. They only ever tune in to see you. The boss is nothing after all. Jack? Who is that? It's Auntie, right Jack? It's your computer and that's the evil you, so that must be Auntie. No. That's not Auntie. It's Sean, isn't it? Ah, you caught on at last. About time. I wondered if he would figure it out or blunder about like an idiot with no idea what was really going on. Wait a minute, what? I thought Sean was your real name. No. Sean is his real name. Wait, but... Don't you get it? That's Jack. The goofball. The yelling idiot who never knows when to quit. He's not me. Not anymore. That's not true. Don't give me that. Don't try to turn against me. I made you. I'm the reason you even exist. No. Don't you give me that, Sean. You trapped millions of people on my hard drive. And for what? What was the purpose? It doesn't... It just doesn't make any sense. Of course it didn't. I didn't trap them here. But who did? You don't understand. Or don't you understand? It was Billy who orchestrated this whole thing. He trapped the subscribers. He called us here. No, that's crazy. Billy wouldn't do that to us. He cares about the channel and the subscribers. They're what made him who he is. Oh, he didn't know what he was doing. He actually thought he was doing us a favor. No, that makes no... Haven't you ever wondered how he knew you needed power regulators and just so happened to have them on him? How he always seemed to know just the right things to say at the right moment? He trapped everyone. But he didn't do it to hurt you or anyone at all. He knew that I was in conflict, so he decided to set this whole adventure up so that I would be my hero, or I would be the hero. I would see how much my subscribers love and need me. Then why are there two of you? What do you think, Jack? Why are we two people? I was so conflicted. Perhaps the computer t saw two pe different people when I was uploading. It turned I into us. And he's not as dumb as he looks. So that's why everything felt off. You weren't completely you, Jack. I just thought I was wrong about you, who you actually were. You seemed different. You caught on then. I'm surprised. I didn't think anyone would care. Why did you leave those messages? The boss is nothing. The boss is useless. What's the point in leaving them all over the computer? To stop me from coming? Come on, Jack. You're smarter than this. You know how this place works. We affect canon more than canon. Our thoughts and opinions and moods, they shape this place. What it is. What it looks like. It does, it's far more than ships or voices or head cannons. Even the messages found all over reflect how we really feel inside. So why are you still here? The only reason I didn't just leave is that I noticed two subscribers are missing. And I couldn't just leave two people trapped in the hard drive forever. You mean we just glitched into the game instead of... Wherever this is? Yes, it was a mistake. You should have been uploaded with the others. Oh, I guess we weren't special after all. No, that's not what I meant. Just come with me and everything's going to be fine. And there they go. What did you do to them? They're with the others now. They're fine. You are not leaving me here. And what are you going to do about it? I'm going to... I'm not going to let you win. Game has been autosaved. You feel your heart, your hands shaking and your heart beating. Yep. Jack and Sean, two different people. And when Jack played this, he talked about how he had these kind of feelings last year. How it was a bad year. We ain't fighting, we ain't giving up. Come on, Sean, I know you don't want to do this. Do you? Do you really? We might have been the same person once, but now everyone expects me to be you. All the time. But I'm more than just you. I'm sick of drowning in you so much that I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, shit. Stop trying- Oh. Fuck. I fucked up immediately. Well, shit. Ha! <laughs> Alright. 
And we got it, alright. You felt you feel powerless. He doesn't see he to see you. Come on, man. I know that's not true. You stayed for Jenny and Cliff. You wouldn't leave without them. I know you still care. That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? It's about the real reason we're doing this. For the subscribers, it's because we want to make them happy. It's because they expect it of us. And I am sick and tired of keeping up this facade. Oh, oh shit. Okay. You have to change his mind, but he's not listening. What do you mean? You aren't making any sense. You! You have no idea what it's like trying to, trying to act the same way day in and day out without anyone recognizing the real person behind it. It's tiring. If it weren't for if it weren't fun for me to make the videos, I would have quit long ago. But now, it's starting to lose its luster. Avoid the blue words. Come on, we're going. Oh man. You want to tell him that it's just a mo momentary feeling, but words won't come. But don't you think you're overreacting? Maybe we do need to change it first. But getting rid of me isn't going to do anything. Like what? A vacation? Do you really think we can put everything down and turn off social media and uploads for that long? Three days off schedule and the relentless algorithms of the internet uh, relevance will begin to crush us. Yeah, because YouTube and all that shit is fucking stupid. Even if I could take a vacation, I can't go even to the movies without you being called out to. Ever heard of a burnout? Well, I suppose a little ball of energy like you wouldn't understand. Oh. Fuck. It changed. Oh, it didn't exit out this time. I am very surprised. Alright, let's do this again. Stick of reacting. That is true. I, can't, I, I do feel bad for Jack about that. But... I would be one of those people, like, if I saw him, I'd feel like... I don't know. I'd be like... Uh, I wouldn't want to bug him, you know? Even though I know he says it's fine. You're my reels. How can he discount you like this? So you're just giving up? You don't know what I've been through. I don't even share that with you. You literally can't feel despair. You can't understand how this feels. You're just one face out of many. One little piece of me who monkeys around for amusement of others. Haven't you seen what they're saying about you? I guess you wouldn't care. You don't care what you do reflects us. Anything to get a laugh, right? It was alright for a while, but now we're too divided. I need more space from you. We can't coexist anymore. Eh. I'm pressing buttons. Is he right? No, he's not right. This community isn't going to care if you're me all the time. They want to see your real face, even if they don't like what they see. They want the connection. We've always tried to be genuine and honest. Why should it be different now? I can barely up the energy and muster up the energy anymore, Jack. I can't be the person they want, and I don't want to let them down. I can't let them down. This is the only way to end this. Oh, hey! Bye! Oh! Shit. Fuck. I can't even say screw you, Sean, because I get where he's going with all of this. Like, he still wants to, in a way, give people what they want. But he wants to be genuine with himself, but we want him to be genuine too. I wish he stays that way. I don't want him to ever change. You have to save him, save him before he does something he regrets. You're wrong about the subscribers. You're wrong about the community. They really care about you. They, yeah, they might say that. But they're just looking for the next laugh. Their next 20 minutes of entertainment. That ain't true. If I see that he ain't having the best time, I want him to make sure he focuses on himself first rather than videos. Now stop struggling. I'm sick of this fighting. One of us has to win. It has to be me. I have to make it right. You don't have to do this. You think you're losing. What is it you have to make right? I need to set us all free. I can't do that if you keep getting in my way. I can help you! I don't want your help. It's over. Don't give up. I'm sorry. 
If I made you feel that way. But for me, even if it's only 20 minutes of laughter, it's sometimes the only 20 minutes in a day I can laugh. You keep me company, like a friend, when there's no one. Thank you. Please, just thank you. It's not just her. We all love you. Not just because you're freaking hilarious, but also because, you know, it's real for us. I have millions of friends to talk to whenever I'm down or when I'm super excited about anything. You give me the energy and the inspiration to keep doing what I love, which is creating. So, thank you. I am so proud of who you are and what you're doing. Thank you for giving me the courage to follow my dreams. You made me want to create again, to just keep on trying until I crack whatever the hell it is I'm doing. I mean, <laughs> hey, how cool is that, dude? Don't give up. Stay determined! We're all rooting for you, Jack. Sean. That's something you should never doubt. See? They do care. Even if it doesn't feel like it. I know that's easy to forget. That's why I'm here. That's why you need me. Because you can't do it alone. And no one, ex no one should expect you to either. Burdens are lighter when carried by two. Or more like a few million more. That scene still makes me cry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. Don't be. I might not be able to feel despair, or burnout, or anything negative, really. I think this helps me see things in a better way. It helps me see that you... It makes me see you in the way everyone else does. It's so easy to forget that everyone sees us differently than we see ourselves. So let me continue to be the one to remind you of that. Thanks. Now come on. I think we've been separated for far too long. Well, this feels better. We gotta go. Time to get out of here. Hey. I thought you were gone. Is everything okay? Wow, thanks for the warm welcome. You know that's not what I meant. So what happened? There was this burst of light and... I don't really remember much. Me neither. It was weird. Don't worry about it. Glad you're back. Where's Sean? Well, here. I mean, we were the same person this whole time, now it's just official. I still can't believe Billy did all that. Believe it or not, Billy was just trying to help. My Sean side did some digging while trying to figure out how to get us back and found out what happened. I mean, it's kind of con convenient, you know? Me meeting all my subscribers and beloved game characters. We read a bit like a fanfiction and that's what it was. A well-intended story starring me being written by a little boy trying to fix something he saw was broken. But how on earth did he do it? Billy isn't installed like the other characters. He's from a Flash game, so he was saved in the cookies on my computer. Part wireish, part internet. He's basically one of the most powerful people here. So he used the internet to bring us here and send you on an ego trip? I doubt that was it. I think he brought us to show Jack how valuable he is to us. I agree. We sort of underestimate how complicated things could become because, well, at his heart, He's really just a little boy, doing the best he could. So why are we still here? Well, he must be uploading everyone. But I think he queued us for last. He must have wanted to make sure we had a chance to say goodbye. Yep. No one wants to say goodbye. So I guess we should say goodbye and stuff before Billy sent us off. Oh man, it was great meeting you. Even if no one's gonna believe me. And I may not believe it myself. But you know, this has been the most awesome thing that's ever happened to me. Well, it's not like this is goodbye forever. We can still meet at conventions and stuff. And we always have YouTube. Sadly, the closest communication to me is awesome con. Or convention. <laughs> communication to me? What? <laughs> but you still- But you haven't been to that one. 
Well, you never know. I guess I could Google it or something. Or you could ask them to hire you. That would probably be more effective. See you around, man. Yeah, thanks for everything. See you. Bye. So I guess it's time for me too. I really want to say thank you, Jenny, for everything. If it weren't for you, I don't know how this would have this could have would it it have ended. This is a very heartwarming scene, emotional scene, and I can't speak English. No problem. It all really meant a lot to me. All of this. I'll never forget it. I'm really happy to have met you. Oh no, you're gonna make me cry too. Come here. Shit, I'm crying. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. And there she goes. You're welcome. And there we go. Oh, this is a relief. Any adventure here? No, not yet. Maybe now a good time for toast after all. Let's we'll see if there's anything else. Can we check the news? I don't think TV's a good idea right now, especially after the last time I watched it. I'm definitely gamed out for the day. <laughs> Always nice to see you here, Sam. Last time. I wanna see what he says with the cake. I should probably cover this up. Don't wanna attract fries. You're not gonna eat a piece right now? Come on, man. I think I can get one recording before I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Let's just end this adventure. Jenny, Cliff, and everyone else are waiting for me. So I guess it's back to work I go. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back. Welcome back indeed. And that's the end of it. Really a... Such a good game. I love it so much. That ending, like I said, I'm still crying. I cry from it still. That's something I want to tell Sean myself. No matter how bad things get, even if he's in like a bad mindset, I still support him. I believe in him. I think he should always take care of his mental health first. Because that's more important than just making YouTube videos and all that. Trico. These are really good arts too. Artworks, I mean. They're like sarcastic pasta. Good job, man. You guys did such an amazing job with this game. Like including these characters. Like, all of Jack's favorites and all that, and having it so Billy was like... You really grow, really grow attached to Billy. It's great. I still want to know what those eggs were for. Were they just Easter eggs? Actually, I'm pretty damn sure that's what they were. And I kind of want to figure out where the hell the other ones were. But, oh well. Guess I'll have to read on that later. Yeah, the designing was good, the dialogue was both emotional at that end, and yeah, hilarious, like at other times, like at the Stanley Parable. I love this so much. I really cannot wait for Glitch in the system. I have my eye on you, devs. Like you said, you're being cryptic little shits like Jack... <laughs> Sands. Wait, I kind of like how Jack is... In May 2018, as I'm recording this, I like how he's being a cryptic shit. I'm watching you guys. I've seen your playlist on YouTube and stuff. I can't wait to see Cliff and Jenny again. And of course, Billy. And the one and only Sean. Along with the egos, that's gonna be really interesting. So adorable. There he is with his with Sam. The 
There's so many characters they put in this game, I swear. I get the any. What does it say? I'm totally not gonna kill you. <laughs> Sounds like fake news, but okay, I'll let you slide. Fuck you. Ed. That was Ed, right? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've watched Ben and Ed. So many Undertale characters. I'm waiting for- I, I swear to god, at one point I was just waiting for Sans to appear just, I don't know, in a random ass location to sleep. It sounds like him, yeah? It's 100% something he would do. <laughs> a little bendy right there. Creepy thing. Segway Steve, yeah. I, was, I did say Segway Steve, right? I don't remember what I called him. <laughs> We got characters from Night in the Woods. I want to play that game one of these days. When? I don't know. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. <laughs> of course, potatoes. Yeah, cry. Let's fucking cry, goddammit. <laughs> that was right. I'm still surprised they managed to fit so many characters in. Must have taken a lot of work just to make their yard alone. I think it took them nine months to make this. And that's pretty good. I'm just so focused on looking at all the scenery they're doing, reading everything. Those good map designs too. I loved it. Like, even the Limbo one, which we only saw, like, a few seconds of, that was still hella, like, amazing. I was gonna say hella good done, but that makes no sense. And the Night in the Woods, too. All of it was just amazing. And that ending. How, like, in Sean's tour- I still like that Sean's tour, everyone, uh, had green lights. That was nice. Sam with the little hat. It's cute. We need more pictures of Sam with hat. <laughs> Actually, we just need more Sam in general. <laughs> a little banner for him and him with the little goo thingies. And then the slime rancher slimes. So cute. And there he goes. He runs. He runs. He runs. <laughs> God damn it, merchants. Swear to God, you two. Breaking everything. That was a nice touch, though. I'm curious as to how much money San made from all that. Uh, like, it was a long ass line for a long time. GLaDOS and the turrets. The sinking turrets. It's like the end of Portal 2. <laughs> That's a- I like that. It's one of my favorite things. Jack King. They don't even see him. It's like, oh, he's stuck here. Bye. Amazing people we like to thank. There's gonna be a lot of that. That's such a nice picture. <laughs> and they did their double date. Look at Alfie's. It's adorable.
Was that when the plant was first knocked down? Pretty sure it was. Up top. <laughs> Aww. How cute. Billy, just tell her already. Come on. You both have a crush on each other. It's obvious. <laughs> I assume that was like Sean's room. Aww. A hug with Jenny. You for being an irreplaceable member of the community. You're amazing and capable and incredible things. That's something I really need to hear a lot of. <laughs> All right, everyone, please gather a little closer. Yes, that's it. We are going to give Jack a proper send off with the Wireland National Anthem. Let's just get this sentimental crap over with. It is so much more than just sentimental. It is our culture. Our heritage. Our... Yeah, yeah, can we just get to the part where I sing over everyone? Oh, oh thank you. if you want me to be quieter, I can be. No! Everyone has to sing like they're running away from a wild axe man! That's tradition, too! May, stop jumping up and down. It's really distracting. <laughs> Billy, do you want to stand next to me up front? Yes. Yeah. Let's keep all the tall people in the back where they belong. <laughs> also, baby, can you try to be a bit less creepy this time? I will try, but this is my default voice. <laughs> there are no guarantees. Uh, guys, why are the officers like here? The official voice. I think they're here to get everyone in place. Oh, don't push me. I can move on my own. Fucking cops. Attention! Cops. <laughs> we are gonna give Jack the best damn send-off in the history of send-offs, so you maggots better shape up or ship out! Where shall I stand? Doesn't matter. You're not, no, like, either. corporate. Corporeal. <laughs> Shh. We're about to start. Everyone ready? Let's begin. This is gonna be a great to listen to. Yeah. Wrong country! <laughs> Billy, I'm gonna miss ya. You little shit. <laughs> Phew, long day. That was really long sign. Looks like everyone's going home. Except the 18 plus crowd. Hey. So great convention, huh? I was in line to meet you, but I, but I got hit by a cutoff. Yeah, it was great. Sorry you didn't get to come up to me. But hey, we're talking now. So, it happened, right? What happened? Um, you know, that thing. 
Smith. Shame Bill isn't here. Yeah, I missed the guy. I don't. Good guy, though. Sean! <laughs> yeah. You ready, Jenny? It did happen! Oh, such a cute picture. Hey, Yasmin. Thanks so much for playing the game. The developers and I really appreciate this, and we hope you had a great time. But more importantly, I wanted you to remember something. I could have never gotten where I am if it weren't for you. This game wouldn't have been possible if not for the community. Every single one of you is valuable. You may you may not see me all, that all the time, and that's okay. But yes, I mean, you're important. You're an important part of this community. You're an important part of the lives of people around you. Too often we're our own we're our own harshest critics and our own biggest bullies. We belittle the impact we have on the others because we're too critical of ourselves or underestimate our own gifts and talents. So if you remember anything from this game, please remember that. You are amazing. You are worth it, Yasmin. If you don't feel that way, that's okay too. There's a huge community out there full of amazing people who will be there for you and will encourage you. This community exists in part because of you. That's what make that's what makes you valuable to me and valuable to us. Thank you, Yasmin. For being a part of this community, or for being a part of this community, we can't do what we do without people like you. Thanks for game. Thanks again for playing the game, Yasmin. See you around. Fuck, I'm crying. I'm crying a lot. Welcome to the gallery. Be sure to talk. Be sure to talk to everyone. Look at everything. Right. Hey, Jack, remember this? It's an actual screenshot from the first time you attempted to play the boss on your live stream. That was an absolutely amazing and surreal experience. Seeing the game on your channel is an honor, and especially since that shit was going to a good cause. By the way, the person who's writing you is Katie, the boss of the boss, you could say. You can find me in the gallery, but I wanted to say a couple words about the stream and why it was so important, and that the boss was featured at that time. This is all messages for Jack, but I figured I'd just read this one at least. He was made in 2017. So you can probably tell by that fact the references you game played stopped around kindergarten. The slaughter trip must have made you feel. must have been really cool for you. At the time, we didn't know you were going through a lot. All the things you said at the end of 2017 made me a bit nervous about you playing this game. Of course, I don't know exactly what you were going through, and I didn't need to. That's why I was so vague in the battle. But the timing just felt too perfect. The fact that you played this game while talking about PMA and getting help is so much is much more significant than you can imagine. I know you went through a lot as well, but 2017 wasn't the best year for the team either. In fact, this entire ga game came to me because I have depression and ADHD as well. I didn't feel like life was worth living anymore, that I was valuable, or that I mattered to anyone. My mom gave me some advice that inspired the whole game. She told me that we're our own biggest bullies and that we need to stop being hard on ourselves. No one is crueler than us than we are, or to us than we are. I firmly believe that now. While working on the portal section, my depression worsened again. But this time, I had a community around me. I had their support and encouragement. I had a team of and group of best friends I've made because of your channel. For you and your channel. Suddenly I wasn't so alone anymore. And it didn't take long for me to snap out of it and finish the game. So this game is near and dear to me. And you can probably tell I poured my heart and soul into it. I love your community more than words can express. Even if ultimately the cutscenes didn't work, the fact that you thought of us for your stream for that stream in particular resonates with me. I feel like this game was made exact for exactly the kind of people you were trying to reach and help. People like me and me. Trust me. So thank you, Jack. For, for thinking of us, for keeping up with our game, even if you couldn't get get it working on the stream, you have that PMA and knowing that we at Sarcastic Pasta Games will always be there cheering you on, you you and your community on. Such a sweet message, him. Yeah, and all this fan art. I'm not gonna go through it all because, well, Frank, there's too much. They're all super fucking amazing. And all these uh, all these people are messages from Jack. For Jack and Trico. Round of applause for Unaga, who made this Trico sprite. Took quite a while to com to convert him into pixel form, but playtesters play responded very favorable to him, so for him, so it was worth it. Also worth noting that Annie Elias did the Gladys spray and completely blew the team away with how good it looked. Yeah, that was amazing. Well, this is what they want to see. Auntie, how's it going? This is a fair. I should have been the villain of this game. I mean, could you get to the computer and have you face it against yourself? Why did the developers have to make it all psychological? 
Well, are you here now? Sure. Fan service. How do you think you're gonna face it? How unfair is this? Sorry, man. Maybe so will make you the villain of your own game one day. Oh, trust me. This isn't over. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not at all. Hey, Sans. Top of the morning. Well, I tried. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hey, Jack. Some rough day because you said you want to play this game on the 13th. I decided to do some minor edits to fix up the issues and posh few things. Since it's now been three months since the game released, we've got some awesome fan art for it, which we display here. Thank you so much for the people who made art for it. We absolutely love fan art and appreciate everyone who took the time to make this. This is a shout out to the community here. Thank you so much for all the kind words you said about the game. You're welcome. We've got so many glowing, wonderful reviews and fan art and even theories. We and even theories, and we treasure every one. Pretty damn sure you're treasuring the theories we're making for the next game. You supported us through a lot of hard times, read our si silly Tumblr posts, and encouraged us every step of the way. Can't thank you enough for your support. The game was really a love letter to this community, much more than just a game for Jack. You completely deserve every second of effort we put into this. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Sarcastic Plastic Games. Thank you, patrons. And, it, and again, all of this is for fan art, which all of it looks way too fucking amazing. And up here. Upcoming game by Sarcastic Pasta. Yes. Spark. The inspiration goes a long way. Okay, I want to play it now. <laughs> Upcoming game by Sarcastic Pasta Games. We'd offer you the role of yourself, Jack. Email us if you'd like to participate. Yeah, Jack, you should uh, do that. No, I know you'll never see this, but you should totally voice it. There won't be much speaking in the game, so it'd be very easy. And here's a game teaser. Don't worry, it's short. Really wish Jack looked at this. I probably should have looked at this last. This is the perfect thing to end on. Special thanks to Ivan, who made the desktop art on, for, on the computer for that teaser. Incidentally, his matter saw another fragment that you called uh, for you called Septiscape, which should come out soon. Posters in the room to the left. Yeah. Yeah, those are the other fan games that are coming out. This one is already out, actually. Set the skate. Not so sure about the other ones, so. Yeah. I think it's a good time to end it here. It was a g I love this game to death. I really do. And that, that message, I was crying before I even uh, started reading it, because... I said, I've played this game before. I know what it was going to I knew what it was going to say. Um, but still, it really hit home, you know? It's a really good message. I like that a lot. Hello, Game Ending Fox. Hello, Jack. Do you want to end your game right now or keep looking around? I'm ready to go. Alright. We hope you love the game and will be willing to help Sarpastic Pasta Games you off the ground. Your contact info is included in the game files. Thank you again for playing. I'll enjoy this one last thing we have for you. One last thing indeed. 3.42 a.m. It's actually close to my time as I record this. There's a play button up there. Jack from Alfie's. Such a cute little picture. And the Chico's just looking at him like, what the? Okay.
such a great game, I can't say it enough. The end. God, I love this game so much. It really is one of my top favorite games. So yeah, that's it for that. The boss is done. <laughs> can't wait. Like I said, can't wait for glitch in the system. That reminds me. I think the next video I'm gonna do will be that again. The demo for it again. Because apparently Monica it wasn't the only one you could find. Or people haven't found it before. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. If you guys like the video, leave a like to share support. Subscribe to see more videos. Hit that bell button for notifications. Can't wait to see what what will be in glitch in the system. Because I think as I said already. I'm, I'm watching you guys. I'm already making theories about what the hell is going on. Like how on one of your s second pages, Billy said he didn't know Auntie. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next series. Peace.